Is your brain a portal, not a processor? For centuries, we've told ourselves a simple, powerful story about the three-pound organ between our ears, that your brain is a biological computer, a processor of staggering complexity, running the software of your mind and generating every single thought, feeling, and experience you've ever had. But for all our progress, we've slammed headfirst into a wall. A problem so profound, it has its own name. The hard problem of consciousness. The easy problems involve figuring out what the brain does, how it processes information, focuses attention, or controls your body. The hard problem is explaining why any of that should feel like anything. Why does a bunch of neurons firing in response to light waves feel like the color red? Why do vibrations in the air feel like the beauty of a symphony? Science can't explain how a purely physical process, just a collection of cells, can give rise to the rich, private, subjective world of your inner experience. The fact that we haven't solved this doesn't disprove the processor model, but it does crack the door open to ask a much more radical question. If the processor isn't creating the experience, could it be doing something else entirely? Section two, tuning into reality. The filter hypothesis. This brings us to a century old idea that's getting surprising new attention. The filter theory of consciousness first floated by philosophers like William James and now championed by thinkers like Bernardo Castro, this theory flips the whole script. It suggests the brain's main job isn't to generate consciousness, but to receive and filter it. Think of a radio. The radio doesn't create the music it plays. The music is already out there, broadcast as invisible waves all around it. The radio just tunes into a specific frequency, filters out the static, and turns the signal into sound. Filter theory says your brain works like that. Consciousness is the broadcast, a fundamental, universal field. Your brain is the receiver, tuned to the specific frequency of you, filtering that vast cosmic awareness down into the focused, individual experience you call your life.